everybody, welcome back to the breach. It's time for that last achievement that we need. It's the custom squad achievement for three of the same class mech, three different mechs. So I'm gonna build a team and get that done. Let's randomize our pilot to start. It's Ralph, he's got some XP bonus for us. Pretty lame. Anyway, uh, I've been debating and taking suggestions for what kind of squads we should use. I feel like the point of custom squad is to deviate as far as possible from the regular teams that you build. I think the thing we haven't seen much of in this LP is ranged. I'm gonna just do three ranged mechs. So, boulder mech to lead them, artillery mech to come in, and siege mech to counterbalance that. The boulder mech will be direct damage, does two, does a little shove, can block spawns, can block shots. That's very important because we don't have the HP to block shots. All of us have two here. The artillery mech is the one that does one damage with a shove all around it for no damage. The siege mech is the opposite of that. It guards a target shoves for one damage all around it, so when this one can't make a shot, this one can, and vice versa, usually, especially when building immunity is done. Until then, neither of them can really make shots, so we really need building immunity. They both have it, one for artillery mech and two power to get it on siege mech. We have a lot of damage upgrades and stuff we can get. It's all very expensive, though. My priority will be the building immunity movement. I'm not going to worry about health, but it is going to be dangerously low the whole time. Let's go. To start, we want to find the lowest HP enemies we can, because we do 1 and 2 damage in sets. We can kill them all as long as we get low HP enemies out on the field. So here we have 2, 1, and 3 with bombs guarding them. That's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. 3, 2, and 2 with armored status. That's a little nasty. Uh, 3, 3, 2 with the HP bonus. This one is the worst. Finally, we have 1. 2, 2 with regen and a boss that does 2 and 1 HP sets. Disposal it is. It's disposal for us. Let's go here. We'll be able to get a lot of XP and control the board with kills by choosing low HP enemies. It's very important that we do that. Here we have an acid attack too to really get us some kills. That wouldn't be a bad thing to start with. The disposal unit's also really easy. Let's do this one first. It's going to be the tough one. Webbing enemy is a little scary uh, as far as enemies go. This team doesn't want to be webbed. They don't have a lot of movement. We really need to position ourselves down the line of the enemy to be able to hit them. If we can't do that, we're in trouble. They can cover each other to some degree, but in the end, webbing could really mess us up, so we're going to stay out of that thing's range for now. I'm pod. What I'm looking for out of the time pod is, aside from the reactor core, I certainly want that. I think anything that's free upgrade would be great. Targeted strike, smoke bombs, things that cost nothing are gonna help me more because I cannot really afford the power cost that comes with that kind of upgrade. We could shove onto the spawn both of these. Though, if I just shoot here, we'll kill that one. This one will miss. I don't think I'm worried about regen. That's not a big problem for me. We'll soak this enemy and kill it. Gotta be very careful with how I position my shots because of the weird spread that we have. And Siege Mech doing damage on it is strange. It's something to get used to. It's the ideal shot for the bottom left, though. That being said, I don't know where I'm going to put this one. Let's just make this shot happen here with you. I need to Acid an enemy. This one over here is the one I would prefer. I can't do much to it yet. Let's make sure we get a kill every turn with acid, so we might as well soak this one, drop it. We can boulder the regen scion as well, get rid of it. The alpha having 2 HP 
that's the end of it. The boulder mech will take it out, or acid can get it. We have acid you. Maybe? Let me see. Yes, if I acid this one, they'll all screw up. A siege mech shot here would kill it. Knock that one down to the spawn. How are we going to stop this guy from doing the damage he wants to do, though? I think a boulder shot has to be placed here. What if instead I do this early? Don't kill either of those. Acid that one and kill it. That looks better. There's going to be a lot of hard to find solutions on this team. They have a lot of potential for violence, but it's very specifically done. You can't go far down enough. My siege mech is useless here almost. Kill you. The acid quest is finished. The enemies are dead. Being able to one-shot them with our attacks is so helpful. That's why I wanted to kickstart things right. And what's in our time pod? Camilla's very nice to see. Alright, that's gonna be an ace pilot. What mech will be out front? It might be the boulder mech, but none of them really do go out front. I'll put her on the one with the least XP. She has so much. Just capitalize on XP the most that way. Ralph will level up in no time, and then we can roll him off the boulder mech somewhere else. Building immunity is the thing to get. It's the only one worth one power core here. We have it already. Disposal unit. Because she is anti-web, we'll put her way out there, trying to bait this enemy into grappling her instead. It would be nice to see that happen. This is another free XP zone quest. We can drop this enemy like this. I debate whether or not I should use the disposal unit on mountains or not this turn. I think I will not do that. We're gonna use it on mountains. I'm not gonna kill enemies with it. We can get rid of four. We do need to destroy the mountains at some point. Might as well take our shot while we have it. I'm a little concerned when my units are pressed up along the left side like they are, but because they're ranged, it's less concerning than usual. You can usually get through and hit something with these units. Not always, but usually. You can finish the job on the mountains. I think it's a great time to do it. Sure, we'll take that little bit of damage to do damage to you. Kill that one. Could block a spawn, but on a disposal mission, I don't think that's a good idea. We can get more kills this way. We have two turns left, and disposal unit is our weapon now to freely use on the enemy. The Alpha Hornet there is going to feel its wrath. We'll kill the other two easily. Roth got his level soon. Uh, Camilla already leveled up. Bunch of enemies who cannot survive. We're going to have to use the disposal unit on that one there, though, if we want to kill it. There's Ralph's level. One pilot's still at level one.
what upgrades do we get? Obviously, we want reactor cores. HP is okay. It's not my preference, but these two are suddenly tanky. That solves one of the problems. It's the least problematic of the problems. I'd rather have movements or, you know, progress towards the upgrades that do damage. I don't think we're going to end up with this two damage upgrade. It's so expensive. It would be nice, but it's so expensive. I need this building immunity upgrade, so there's two right there. Alright, let's go forward. Kill seven enemies, protect the bar. Been killing a lot of enemies, getting a lot of XP. Let's continue the trend. I think we can do it. If this guy grapples here, we'll be able to kill it anyway. It didn't. I need to kill enemies, so I'm hesitant to do anything that will stop that from happening. By way of spawns being blocked. I could drop you this way. I could simply move forward and do this, and we can attack this this freaking scarab with all of its HP. It's gonna be the enemy I can't get rid of too easily. Two, two, and three. That's doable. This enemy is missing because of the conveyor belt, so we can focus on killing the enemies who are on the field. Let's get rid of him. Do a shot here, make that one miss, do a little damage to it. I still need four kills, so I'm to get low on time. The big annoying enemy's dead, though. I'm actually happy to see the Leaper. I hope it goes after Camille. Did not. Lovely shot happening right here, except for this. This guy right here is the one who's going to ruin that for me. So let's get rid of him. We can tank that damage. Take this shot. What's going to happen with you? You're going to hit the grid, unfortunately. So it's not as good a shot as it seemed. I do need to do something about this guy. This is Siege Mech's burden. It cannot make that shot happen. Let me reset. Maybe I need to switch which one does which here. Since we are not going to be able to make the shot I wanted to, really. I can tank that hit if I need to. Because of that HP upgrade I got. I could take advantage of it. and then simply shove that Scarab out of the way. I so badly need to get these kills. There's gotta be an answer. have so much we can't get through do I get the kills next turn maybe just bite the bullet on this for now we're not dying we're getting one and a half kills 
and then I cause grid damage anyway, like a buffoon. Great. Well, that's my burden. <laughs> you ever just make the dumbest mistake in the world? After looking at something for too long? That's me. Alright, let's see here. We have to kill three enemies. So many of them are at one health. I can get those three kills. I sure can. We'll shove you out of the way so you're missing. We drop this shot here for two. The final one right here. And then my own idiocy taking damage for no reason. Uh, I would be just fine having not done that, but nope. We got the star. It's okay. Let's see. We can get it back here, defend the power plants. How greedy am I? I'm not greedy, let's do this. There's water here and it makes me think I can drown that scarab, the lethal one here, the hard one to kill, with the right shot. He's nowhere near the water yet. It's okay for me to take that hit on the other guys, but not that one. I'm gonna have to get him out of there. We can easily do that though. Shove him right that way. That shot was too good to pass up on and kill too many things. And now that Scarab is in range of the boulder mech. And then regen, right, regen. Ugh, 3 HP. Scion, please. Scion's dead if I do it this way, but that's grid damage. We can't go for that. That shot looks so good, I couldn't even think about it. I just immediately went for it. I'll tell you what shot's better, though. This one. Yes, it sure is. Because the siege mech will have the opposite shot. And that will kill these two. Boulder mech coming over. Dropping a rock in the middle of nowhere. Two leapers and a hornet. All clean. Two and one. There's that final pilot promotion. <laughs> Grid defense. Great. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch pilots here, but we're on route for a perfect island, so we'll probably end up with the better pilot soon anyway. Five goos, corporate tower. This is going to be an easy mission by the looks of it, because this water is going to really help us out. The slime will maybe come across, but it can't attack in the water either, so we won't be able to drown it, that's my concern. Once it starts splitting, we'll be able to kill it as quickly as we kill everything else around here. I want this to try and grapple this, and if I stand here, it must, it must do it. It's the only option it has. I have forced the enemy to make a move that sucks for it. Its turn is wasted. That being said, my turn isn't doing much here. What do I do? I could kill the one who tried to web me. I 
better do that. Let's get that boss down. We gotta start breaking it into pieces. I'm curious what the slime's gonna do. Is it gonna even try to cross the, the little river there? It looks like it's just gonna stand there and take the damage I'm throwing at it. That's wonderful. I like that. We could shove here or Siege Mech is preferable, but Siege Mech has a better shot to do right here. I'm gonna shoot here. Get rid of regen guy, maybe. Let's block a spawn. Should I? Yes, I think I will. That Siege Mech shot right here is going to be amazing. We'll start with this shot because I need to know where the slime's going to go. Becomes a big boy play. <laughs> wow. Slime's completely dead. Alpha Hornets, Hornets, and the Alpha Hornet is the, the annoying one here. I don't like it being on the field. It's going to miss, though, so that's fine. It'll kill that one for us, too. All these enemies are dead except for that Alpha Hornet. This went really well. That river was fantastic for me. The slime dropped on the wrong side. Bethany or Auto Shields. Bethany's gonna solve the HP problem that we have on the last mech, so that's a fine pick. What are we doing for money here? I have a lot of extra stuff. Definitely bringing Bethany with me because Grid Defense is not my choice. We have two extra pilots though, and there's no reason to sell them currently. I don't plan on buying these weapons. Let's grab three of these and grab that last building immunity upgrade. Now we have two really good mechs. I would like some movement. I would like the boulder to be more useful. And that will do that for me. I really want these upgrades too, but it's going to be a tough sell. I think that this is the damage upgrade I'm gonna end up with. Possibly the boulder upgrade too, if I can, if I can ever get the money for it. Uh, I think I'll start working towards this direct damage, though. This one's really easy to use now, that building immunity. You know what? I'm gonna work on this one. Poor movement here. The boulder mech will be the backup, and the siege mech's gonna become my primary mech now. Now that it's become very useful.